sailors and a message telling them not to misbehave in Dublin, the second city of the British Empire at that particular time. I'm happy to say that that practice is no longer in Dublin. We got rid of it about 20 years ago. Right there, same. Now, who has heard of a little boy band from Dublin called U2? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Well, now, folks, you see that coming up here on your right hand side? You see a graffiti wall? See it? Yeah. Over there? That's the only wall that you can write graffiti on neatly in Dublin. And it is that way because the building behind it is the recording and rehearsal studios of the boy band U2. That's where it all started over there for the boys about 30 odd years ago. Now, they don't record in there anymore, but they certainly still rehearse in there. And when they're rehearsing, we can often hear them as we do the tour here, and you can hear the music easy enough there. Right? Bono, he's the lead singer of the band, you know him? Songs. He has an apartment over there that he stays in when he's working in the band or rehearsing. Okay? And when word gets out around the town, Bono, Bono, yeah, all oh, see over there where the trees are. That becomes lined with all his supporters. <laughs> and he comes down every morning at 9 o'clock when he's working. And no matter how many people are there, he will shake their hand. And then he will jump onto the water 